Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Randy Sukul. I've been uh, doing uh, endurance events over the past 10 years. Um, four of those 10s are, are training for marathons. And um, I uh, wanted to um, provide you with some information on Morton. And so Morton is a, uh, a new sports drink out of Sweden. Um, and their US companies out of Delaware and um, they've been receiving a lot of hype on the internet and I decided to a lot of my friend couple of my friends asked me to do a review on Morton what I thought about Morton after they saw my post on on Facebook and I decided to uh, do a, a YouTube video on it um, and do a, create this this YouTube channel I will be um, doing some more videos on my thoughts on the other products all the products of Morton and also um, my thoughts on UCAN. I just started U taking or uh, trying UCAN, um, uh, Generation UCAN. I uh, will do a separate video on UCAN. So again, Morton is, uh, has gotten a lot of hype on the internet um, and, um, and social media. And just because um, uh, Elliot Kipkoji, right? So he, he broke the world record at the Berlin Marathon. I, I believe it, uh, he ran in uh, 20139 that's the that's the record for the for the marathon he he uh which is what he got and he broke the world record last year in berlin and so um he was using morton uh, i heard about it from the workout group in tucson where i train uh uh in in tucson and so um i heard about a couple of the guys uh that i train with and and um they I wanted to try it. I wanted to see how it, if if it would help me on my training and my and my preparation. I am about four weeks out from the Jack and Jill Marathon, and that's um, what I plan to use it in. And I wanted to try it out before the marathon, just just so that um, you know if there's any type of issues, I can identify those in advance. And so 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 the package. So it, so it, again, it, came, it it comes out of Delaware. It took about a week from the time I ordered it before I got it in Tucson. I live in Southern Arizona um, and it's just probably the mail system. So anyhow, this is the gel 100 packaging. Very nice. It's almost like opening a, a, a new iPhone, right? So this is the Drink Mix 160. Hope you can see that. And then this is the Drink Mix 320. Okay, very nice. And so this is the first packaging I've seen like this is from a a, a sports drink. Um, was really really cool. Um, again, so a little bit about history about me. So I've tried a lot of different sports drinks over the past ten years. I've tried um, uh, Perpetrium, different ha Hammer Nutrition, uh, Cytomax. I've tried the whole line of Goo products. Um, Power bars. Um, I've also tried. Um, I used. Uh, I primarily use Scratch Labs, and they are out of Boulder, Colorado. Um, everybody knows Dr. Alan Lim, who created the company when he was working um, for some Tour de France uh, teams, and and so it, they uh, apparently his formula worked well for those athletes a few years ago, and so I um, have been using that drink as a, my primary source for for many years now. Um, I wanted to try something new. I mean, you know, this this product came out. The company's been around um, since 2015. Again, from Sweden, um, and I decided to, that I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. So, Morton recommends that you you use the the drink mix 160, two bottles per hour. So, by the way, they send you a free bottle when you order. So, if you um, to keep that in mind I ordered a separate bottle and but they sent me a free one so I have two of these now so no no big deal I'm gonna use it um, probably when I go on long bike rides but so this is the drink mix 160 this is the gel 100 this is the drink mix 320 the 320 has up to 80 gra 80 grams of carbohydrate the 160 has 40 grams of carbohydrate and the gel has 40 uh, grams of carbohydrate so I, t I sent a message to Morton, uh, Team Morton on Facebook and I asked, okay, what do they recommend 
and I've looked at their videos. They have some really cool YouTube videos on their products and how to use their products. So um, they recommend every one of these every six kilometers during training or racing. Um, two of these per hour because they have a it's a, uh, a less of a ha um, concentration of carbohydrates, 40 grams, and the 320 is up to 80 grams. So it's a lot of carbohydrates, a lot of carbohydrates. So I I did try um, the 160 drink on my intervals on Thursday on the track, and so the the track workout was uh, four 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 hundreds followed by four one mile repeats and so I was sipping on the Morton um, during the workout I drank one of the one of these 160 as recommended about 30 minutes before the workout I mixed it so basically what you do is you mix I use arrowhead water mix a cold arrowhead with one of these I'm not sure if it, if it needs to be cold. I used it cold. I like cold drinks because it's over 100 degrees in Tucson right now. And I drank, um, you, you drink one bottle, 500 milliliters of water and it's measured. You follow the line. You go all the way up to the line. Basically it's one, one arrowhead water and one of these. And they're strict on the, the water, how much water you use. And um, there's a calcium recommendation uh, for the water that it has to be under a certain num uh, number of grams of calcium and the arrowhead water fits fits that bill and so that's why I went with I used the arrowhead and I was using that anyway for all my sports drinks anyway um, so how it tastes it, it it tastes like for me the closest thing was uh, it has a really nice smooth vanilla taste uh, it, to me, it tastes like vanilla. They said there's no flavor; it's plain. It tastes like vanilla to me. Um, it it tastes more like vanilla cream soda. Um, uh, that's what I remember uh, after. I mean, I like cream soda. I, it, it there's no fizz in it. It's just it does just that's the closest thing to my taste bud that it resembles. It's like cream, cream uh, vanilla cream soda. Um, I like that taste myself. It's it's uh, very smooth. It, the the cream. There's no milk in it. There's no gluten. There's no dairy products in it. It's it's made from seaweed, from my understanding. You could read all about um, what it's made from and their technology, the hydrogel technology, which basically my understanding is is it's very very easy to eat on your stomach because it's not made from cane sugar and it's also um, made from seaweed like I said and uh, the solution when it mixes with your stomach acid turns into a gel and it's readily absorbed into your body it's um, a lot um, less heavy on your on your stomach and it's uh, that's what they advertise and so I just wanted to explain that uh, my experience though so I, I, I drank like I said I drank it 30 minutes before I went out on the, on the in track interval hard intervals um, those are threshold threshold uh, efforts. Um, so about um, 80 to 90 percent of your maximal. Um, so tempo, basically, they're tempo tempo workouts. Um, and so uh, I was running um, like a 6:45 to 7 7:15 pace for all of them, all the efforts, and um, that's my threshold. Um, you know, everybody that might be. It's it's everybody's threshold is different. Just wanted to mention what uh, the pace I was running at. My my heart rate was was about 170 or so, a little over 170 beats per minute, 170 175 beats per minute. Um, during the during the efforts, and so so it was pretty hard for me. Um, so uh, during the workout, um, I was sipping on one of these, um, which is the second bottle is what they recommend you drink two 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 one sixty drink mixes per hour because of the number of carbohydrates um, recommended uh, by Morton because you can their technology is is you can absorb up to eighty grams of carbohydrates per hour um, just because of their technology their hydrogel technology and and um, that's a lot of energy and it's a lot more um, than most sports drinks. Most sports drinks uh, offer about 20 to 25 grams of carbohydrates, sometimes 30 grams of carbohydrates per serving. 
Um, I personally um, didn't have a problem with the, four, the 40 to 80 grams of carbohydrates during the workout. It was, I started off, it was over 100 degrees in Tucson at the, at the time. So that's why I wanted to try the two bottles. Um, I don't normally drink um, a whole bottle before I work out. Um, 30 minutes um, so I was a little bit concerned about that um, but I I followed the instructions did it as, as recommended I um, didn't have any stomach pains when I started didn't feel heavy or anything like that it was it was great I did um, I did feel light on my feet uh, through the workout I, I wouldn't say I had any big rush of energy it was more um, sustained energy, I should say. It was more sustained energy. Um, there were no huge spikes. In other words, like, um, you know, when you take, like, for example, a goo gel, um, it takes about six minutes to absorb, but you do have a little bit of a sugar rush um, when you take a, a, a gel, a goo gel, for example, right? And that's high, a high concentration of carbohydrates, and you have to typically uh, use it with water you, you, or plain water. You take that and you you follow up with um, a few sips of, of just plain water um, just so that it, it, it can dilute the solution. Now with Morton you don't have to do that um, uh, when you take one of their gels. So I haven't done the gel yet. I will be posting another video on what my thoughts are the gel. I will be doing that, um, doing the gel and, um, on my long run tomorrow. I'm doing a 50 mile long run in my preparation for um, the Jack and Jill Marathon in four weeks. Um, so that's my long run for the week. Uh, but yes, I will be uh, posting another video on that coming up. But I uh, just wanted to give you my thoughts on the 160 drink. It, it felt, like I said, it didn't feel good. I did have a bit of a, on the last one mile repeat of the four, I did have a bit of a stomach um, cramp and I believe it was because I was taken I drank two of these which I normally don't do people some some people can do two three of these per hour um, depending on their hydration needs and I and they're fine I don't I I personally have an issue with that much liquid in my stomach when I'm uh, doing threshold threshold work um, threshold workouts um, again going uh, 80 80 to 90 percent of my maximal effort and um, yeah, I, I can't, I can't just can't uh, um, feel good during the workout with that much liquid in my stomach, um, as recommended by Morton. Now, some people can tolerate it better than others, but I did have a stomach issue, stomach pain on the last uh, effort, uh, which was about um, 45 minutes into the workout, 45, almost 45, 48 minutes into the workout. Um, and I just ran the mile. Uh, it was a little bit slower than uh, the rest of the, the miles, but uh, I did complete the workout. Um, I did have enough energy through the workout um, uh, to complete the workout. Using the product, I was my, like I said, the vanilla taste was uh, nice and uh, fresh. It was nice and um, you know, I like uh, cream, cream soda. There's no, again, there's no, there's no dairy in it. It just, just that's how it tastes to me. It tastes similar to to cream soda, um, uh, which I really enjoy. It, it's it, it was a really nice, really nice uh, flavor. Um, it didn't have any big sugar taste to it. It was nice and neutral, vanilla taste. Um, uh, it wasn't syrupy. It was nice and um, light, smooth syrup. Uh, excuse me, light, smooth vanilla uh, flavor taste to me. Uh, little when you drink a couple of sips of it, the creaminess comes out of the the drink, um, and uh, it does uh, kind of it, it. It's refreshing, I should say. It should, it's nice, refreshing, um, uh, light slightly creamy taste um, and uh, went down smooth uh, I didn't have any stomach issues other than the last mile like I mentioned um, I will I will be posting another video on my thoughts on the gel um, Morton does recommend again every six kilometers you, you use one of these um, so about every uh, three to four miles I'll be, I'll be doing it every four miles on my 15 mile long run tomorrow 
um, and I will post another video on, on my thoughts on the gel. Um, again, I will also post another my thoughts on the UCAN, uh, which is another big product that's been out on the market for quite some time now. And uh, of course, everybody knows uh, um, Sarah Sellers uses it, and she's a, a local Tucson elite runner that placed second at the uh, Boston Marathon last year. Um, and so um, uh, that's also been getting a lot of press and hype on the internet as far as sports drinks are concerned, Generation You Can. And there's also Alexi Papas and a couple other well known um, endurance athletes um, that use uh, You Can. So I, I wanted to give it a try. I did give it a try, and I will be posting a separate video on that one. So I hope this was helpful to everybody on my review of the Drink Mix 160. From Morton, again, hit the subscribe like button. I will be posting some uh, other videos on, on you can also the Drink Mix 320, and also the, the Morton Gel 100. That's the next video. So thanks, everybody. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Thanks again. Thanks for watching my video, um, and I will uh, see you soon.